Hey, what's up, YouTube? Gary here, crazyforcardboard.com, as always. And we're going to do a little junk era celebration today. I don't know why, but I got a box of cards over here, probably about, I don't know, five, six, seven, somewhere around there, a thousand. Still in there. I need to get sorted through and see what's in it. And then I'll sort them all by sport and start sorting them by team, and y'all can pick out what you want. And let me know and get me on the contact option over here on the website or on the Facebook group. I'm still trying to recruit members for that. So if you know anybody looking for a good sports trading group on Facebook without a whole lot of rules and bull crap and whatever else, you know, pretty clean place to be, I hope. I haven't got a whole lot of members yet, but we're trying to fix that slowly but surely. But let's go through here and see if we can't find any keepers. I gotta get my hopes up. Like I said, this is all 95, 96, 2000s ish. <clears throat> so let's see what we get. I'm not gonna call out all the names because there's a lot of junk in here. And there's a lot of stuff that needs to go into trash, which I have right beside me here. So now they got the trash can handy. A little John Buck prospect card there. A lot of prospects in here, a lot of rookies in here. Mike Huff, Steve Fry, Jimmy Anderson, and Tyke Redman prospects. I'm only going to call out some of the people I know. There's Willie Mo Pena. Yeah. Terry Tiffy, first year tops. Mm, Nelson Castro. That's too bad it's got a bunch of rash on it right there. I'll throw that one in the garbage. Um, hope everybody had a good fourth. If you're in the USA, which most of you are, looking at my... Well, we got some NASCAR in here. Let's see who we got. Uh, Jason Keller. Coy Gibbs. I'm guessing one of Joe Gibbs' relatives, maybe. Tim Salmon. And a little Tony Stewart action there. Little Jeff Gordon. Tony Stewart die cut. Uh, Michael Walter. Another Stewart die cut. Another Michael Waltrip die cut. That's pretty funky looking. Got a ton. Oh, there's Ricky Rudd. I like him. Old Haviland driver. Jeff Codine. Or excuse me, Jeff Gordon. Sorry. There's a license to drive. Jimmy Johnson. Uh, Dale Jr. What is that? Press pass trackside 02. Running and gunning. It's a nice card. Is that the insert? Yep. RG one of nine. It's pretty nice. I like some Dale Jr. And let's see, Jimmy Johnson and John Andretti. So, if you're at NASCAR, I got a pile of NASCAR, a lot of die cuts, a lot of acetate see-through stuff. Don't have many. I don't have any autos and just stuff like that. Just football and baseball mainly for autographs. There's a Soriano victory, Jim Edmonds, Kerry Wood. I'll put that over in the Cubs box. In case my buddy Justin sees this, your box has been ready for about two months, dude. Hideki Matsui, uh, Maglio Ordonez, Tim Huston, Brian Giles, Vlad Sr. Just to have a Vlad Sr. pile up here. Yep, it's right there. All right, let's see. Ramos Ramirez. Uh, Roberto Alomar landed on the line. Troy Glaus, Huddy, Hensky, Freddie Garcia, Mark Burley. Nice. I love these cards. Very nice contrast. Pretty well designed card as far as I'm concerned. The backs aren't too shabby either. Nice gloss. Uh, Bernie Williams. There's an Ultimate Victory Blue Foil. That's a nice card. I got a bunch of those. Phil Nevin on that one. Uh, let's see who else we got here. I got to keep an eye on my battery. I'm probably going to have to cut this video short at some point. There's an Al, Al Lighter Ringmasters. Nice little insert back in the day. That's what the hits used to look like, guys. If you guys are young, this was 18 years ago. That's what we chased. A lot of inserts. Not really a whole lot. That one's got a wham, whammed up corner on it. Riley Fingers. 
uh, George Kale Archives. It's a nice card. I got an archives box somewhere, but I'm just gonna put those in with the teams. Mark Burley. Uh, let's see, you start me another stack right there. Put these right here over there. Like I said, I'm gonna spend the rest of the week getting this box sorted out. If you wanna claim anything, just let me know. 2001 saves leaders, Trevor Hoffman, Rob Nien. There's a Raphael for call. So what is this, 95 tops, 93 tops? Yeah, 93 tops here. I remember buying some of these from Walmart back in the day. A lot of these actually. Chasing my Braves, Charlie Hayes. Brian Hunter, he used to be one of my favorites. Been a lifelong Braves fan. There's an old one, Cubs, Mike Garman. What year is that? That is 77 tops. It's a nice card. Not bad for some Cubbies. Catfish Hunter, Bobby Abreu, 2018. Or 2017, excuse me. That's actually an insert. S101, it's card number. Oh, it's a salute. Okay, so they did a couple hundred card series into salute inserts. Cool. Yeah, let's see if we can find some more good names in here. Uh, Brian Giles. Brett Butler. I like these cards, too. They're, they're kind of hard to read. What are they, 93? No, 98 score. There's that 97. 97 pinnacle score. Uh, let's see. Wilmer we'll Allen There's some 80, 89 tops. Willie Randolph. Like I said, I'm not going to call them all out. I'm just going to call out the good guys. Bip Roberts. Uh, there's a lot of Hall of Famers in that stacks. Tim Salmon ticket card. A lot of Tim Salmon. I pulled a whole bunch of his stuff out for somebody that never claimed it. When I was... If I'm not mistaken, these came out of a big collection of all, like eight Xerox boxes. Like, you get the reams of paper in those big boxes. Yeah, everything in this hand right here is Tim Salmon. So, any Tim Salmon fans out there, let me know. Oh, there's a nice card. Pinnacle 2000. Prism. Or is that Pacific? Yeah, that's Pacific, not Pinnacle. There's an Ian Kinsler mixed in a much. There's all years in here. Kevin Pilar, uh, Bagwell, Mark Grace, Carlos Lee, Mike Sweeney, Jim Evans, Carlos Perez, Premier Prospects, die cut. Nice little foil card there. Here's a nice foil card too, Albert Bell. Don Russ Preferred Power, leave us an O2. I can't read it. Oh, 98, I think it is, says on there. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Sasaki. I watched Sasaki pitch a good bit. Well, I was stationed out in Washington for eight years. I used to get baseball tickets for $8. Got a hot dog, a beer, or Pepsi, or whatever you wanted. Yeah, a lot of these have rash on them. I'll sort them when I get them in the you ready to put them in the team boxes. The 20th anniversary for Donruss. They started in 81. Dimitri Young. Some more nice cards. I like the design of these two. Todd Stottlemyre was pretty good for a while. Vlad Sr. We'll put that in the Vlad Sr. pile. I just like him. Plus his kid's tearing it up, so. Bringing more attention to his dad. His cards are still not very valuable, but they're still pretty nice. They don't have to be valuable, be valuable to be nice. A lot of people would disagree, but I collect for the love of collecting. And I get autos and relics and all that stuff. I just trade them off or sell them off to get better stuff, more stuff for the store. Uh, let's see. John Olerud. Uh, let's see who else we got in here. Another Bernie Williams. Maglio Ordonez. Not a whole lot of people in here. Let's 
cards are hard to read. Another carry wood. And yep. We'll get on through these couple of packs here. I'll get this one uploaded. And then start on another one probably. Yeah, I might wait till tomorrow. Just do one a day for the rest of the month. Not a whole lot in this pile here. Some decent players, but nothing. Another Mike Sweeney. Lived out in Kansas City area for a season or two. Never made it to the ballpark. I was always on the road driving truck during baseball season. That's when you make the most money out there. So, it is 95. It's 02 Flare. Looks older than that. But all these Flare cards in the early 2000s look the same just about. Tony Batista. That was all rashed up. Threw it in the trash. These are some more good cards. I like these cards too. Todd Helton. Maybe he'll get into the world or the Hall of Fame one day, but playing ball out in Denver is going to hurt all them guys out there to have a chance at it. There's a Walt Dropo. Dropo. What year did he play? Uh, 49 through 61, according to this. That's a Flair 2001. Red Sox 100th anniversary. And let's see, Kent Merker, Greg Jeffries, this is Brian Jordan, it's a nice foil card, Stadium Club Transactions, okay, and slide on through these, Sean Casey, Scott Rowland, Lance Berkman, there's a Pedro, Triple Crown Fleer, just gonna go through these where I can read them here. Phil Nevin, Tony Batista, Studio 01. Paul LaDuca, Jeff Supan, Supan. Preferred foil. Nice card. I love foil cards, they're cool. Uh, what year is that? 98 or so. Rash on these. Most of those will go in the trash can. The Sean Casey Studio One. David Wells. Jared Washburn giving Gatorade some free advertisement. Right. Uh, another foil card looking deal. Pretty cool. Carol Baines, Robin Ventura, uh, Wilson Betterment, another Brave, O Pudge, O One Donruss, class of 2001. Yeah, Frank Thomas, there you go. Got a little issue with the surface there. Throw that one away. Trash cans full. I got a bunch of Panini Football Collegiate Series boxes in there. You didn't see that video click back a couple days ago. Uh, Xavier Nady. Uh, that's about it for that stack there. I like going through all the old stuff too. This is back in my heyday. Well, these aren't, these are 2000. 2002s, I was in the Navy. I didn't collect much for that eight or nine years I was in there. Uh, here's some tops, top tens. These are nice cards. I like the way these are set up. Got a nice little back on it. Stats and team lineups and whatever. Triple leaders, top ten triple leaders. Roberto Alomar. Another Ventura. A lot of good, a lot of good cards in that top ten set. That's all pretty much all stars from. Back in the day. Let's pop through these real quick. 
There's a cool one, Tony Clark Power Trip cards. I call them Pink Floyd cards because they look kind of like a Pink Floyd cover. Uh, Chuck Finley, J. Bell, Tejada, Sandy Alomar Jr., Big Place Scott Rowland. Let's see, another Power Trip move on. Power Trip Jeff Bagwell, old bagger. Jock Jones, Darren Ersta, Mike Sweeney, Mark Pryor, Kenny Lofton's a good one. A couple of Kenny Lofton's there. And the Giambis. And here's some Bowman's. This is 2000, what? 2003? 2004-ish, somewhere in there. Jerome Williams. A little facsimile autographs there from the factory. It's not real, but they look cool. I like seeing people's signatures. Phil Nevin, David Murphy, Damaso Espino. Pretty cool signature there. Look at that thing. It's pretty nice. Nowadays, you look at most of these autographs being printed out. Look like they sneeze when they put the pen to the paper and they call it good enough. People don't take pride in their crap anymore. A lot of them do. A lot of them don't, you know, you've seen them. Uh, Ron Belliard, Jared Washburn, Vladimir Nunez. There's some old 88, 87 Leafs. Don Russell's mixed in together. Jeff Schultz. Oh, that one fell on the floor. Good thing I got carpet. Tony Gwynn, MVP. Nice. Dennis Rasmussen. Jay Buhner, nice. Brett Myers, fake signature, and there's a Trot Nixon. If you Red Sox, Red Sox fans out there, Delman Young, Vernon Wells. I got a pile of these cards. Marlon Bird, Angel Barra. Uh, Ozzy Smith, nice card. I like the black cards, I love those. Bill Veal, was Veal, however you say it. Pat Taylor, Gary Carter, a couple of Hall of Famers, the Sednik, Scott Coolball, 90 rookie, Jose Lean. Past is alive, buddy out there. Jabs, brother. Most of y'all know Jabs. If you're on my channel, I watch a lot of his stuff, a lot of his brother's stuff. Hopefully they watch mine at some point. That'd be cool. Uh, Burt Bly 11. I love these 90 scores too. They'll never be worth anything, but they're just pretty sick looking cards. Pretty basic, pretty sick. I like them. Got an old school look to them. And they're old school now. I mean, that's 21 years ago almost. Uh, 2000, 2010, yeah. 29 years ago, too. That's a long time ago. I was born in 78, so. I'm just a bit older than these guys here. By about 12 years or so. Oh, the Dale Murphy. I used to be my boy back in the day. Bruce Ruffin. Miguel Cabrera. Home Run Derby 06. And here's some, what is this, 93? Surely that's not 89 tops there. 88 tops. Okay, cool. Thought they were newer than that, but they're older than that. See if we got any good cars in here. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Back to the 89 Don Russ here. Mike Schmidt, Eric Davis. Uh, Wally Joyner, Pedro. Idols, Pinnacle. Is that Eckersley? No. Catfish Hunter and Scott Sanderson. Nice. It's a cool card. I didn't know I had that one. That'll be in the Yankees box if anybody wants to claim it eventually. Bobby Dorr. These are, these are reprints from... What year is that? can't even read it without my magnifying. Oh, 90 Pacific. Okay, cool. Got a lot of Pacific stuff. There's another Catfish Hunter. Alan and Ginter. 2012. Rob Deer. Louis Salazar. Greg Olson. Juan Guzman, 
Jason Michaels, Brett Butler, 93 Flair, 93 or 95, somewhere in there. And we got a couple tops of HD coming up. I love those too. All the high def cards are pretty well favorites of mine. Yeah, we're coming up on 20 minutes. That was a good that was a good amount of cards there. Carlos Gonzalez, Pep Felica, John Gray, Greg Holland, Adam Alavino. There's a lot of repops coming up. Hinsky, Tom Seaver. That's a nice card. Legends curve, 17 or 18, probably. 18 tops, I think. Yep. Greg Maddox. What does that say? Diamond King Evolution. I haven't seen that card much. It's an awesome card, though. Look at that thing. What year is that? 03? DK10. So that's the 10th card in the Diamond King series. And a couple of Mickey Mantles here coming up. milestones down below it a lot of Mickey Mantle repops I got in my collection here Willie McGee David Cohn Randy Reedy I'm not seeing a whole lot of big names in here the record breakers there's that new name on the front Kevin Moss those home runs at pace never previously attained in baseball annals annuals I'm guessing I don't know whatever Let's see who else we got in here Julio Franco who's that Cecil Espy I thought that was Cecil Field referred to the second there. Paul Molitor. And that's going to do it for that video, guys. We busted the 22-minute mark. That's pretty good for one video, I think. I try to keep them 20, close to 20 as possible. I don't do 10-minute videos because I know when I'm watching YouTube, I get ticked off, watch something for five or six minutes, have to get up and find something else to watch. So I try to make better videos for you guys. A little bit longer so you can actually sit back and relax and watch something for 20 minutes or so but if you're interested crazy for cardboard you already know the website you see it in every video on the placard down there the twitter and facebook group carry the same name also i made this for instagram but it doesn't say instagram because i made it for instagram the crazy for cardboard on everything spelled with k's and then yeah be sure to follow me. Go check out the Facebook group. You can sell, trade, buy, whatever you want to do there. Once we get some members in there. I haven't been pushing that a whole lot. But I'm going to start to do that. Because I want to get that build up. And then we're going to do some giveaways pretty soon. And here's two of the cards that are going to be give, give, given away. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Probably going to do it on a comment basis. But it's not this video. I'm just showing you what's going to be given away here. I've got another manufactured relic card I'm going to throw in. But, Carl Yastrzemski, that'll be going away to somebody out there in YouTube land. Here's a 43 of 50. Just look down there in the corner. There you go. A little manufactured relic. MLB patch there. Batter logo patch, what they call it. Nice little McCutcheon card there. And 2017 Series 2 manufactured patches. But I haven't decided to win, but probably, I don't know. It's not going to be because I hit a certain milestone, but it'll be around the milestone. So probably about 20 more subscribers be looking for the video to comment. And I'll be throwing these out there for somebody for free. Just pay the shipping on it. I'll put it in a bubble mailer and... See if I can find some sleeves that'll fit it and get it protected so it doesn't get damaged. But yeah, keep a lookout. Tell your friends, you know, if you want to do some exchanging shout outs or whatever, drop me your name in the comments. 
I don't have a problem with people promoting their channels on my page because I want people to promote mine back in the in return. So throw a comment down there, let me know what your channel is, and I'll run over and subscribe to it. I like watching different stuff all the time. I get bored a lot. Always looking for something to watch, guys. So here's a nice card I found the other day. A little cheap relic card for Nolan Arenado. I might give that one away too. I haven't decided what's going to be the giveaways. I know these two on the Carl Yastrzemski and the little numbered McCutcheon will be given away. But do me a favor, like, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Uh, you know, like I said, if you want to do some trading, I'll get some. I'll get some materials together for you team-wise. You want to buy something, let me know. I got everything. Just go back, look through the store inventory videos or any of the box breaks. You want something pulled, pack fresh, which just about everything I sell is pack fresh, unless I describe it otherwise. But y'all have a good day. See you later.